jumper. Welcome back, you guys. Okay. So by now, you guys probably know that I am very into signs. I think I've asked every single guest and audience member on this show what was their astrological sign. Take a look at this. What sign are you? I'm a Libra. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he doesn't work the hours, cancer. Oh. Say nothing. Cancer. They're so sensitive and beautiful. I think the ones. I think. You must the be a Virgo. <laughs> oh my gosh! Right, how'd you know? <laughs> I knew, I'm telling you. You guys know that astrologically, you're a perfect match. You're an Aries and you're a Leo. Y'all yeah. know I'm into the astrology. <laughs> when your mother's birthday? She's a Leo, my mother's a Leo. Too. Oh my God! This is good found his mama. This is <laughs> too much. Okay, I really believe that our sign has a huge impact on a lot of our characteristics, and that really is what's so fascinating to me, especially when it comes to our love life. So now I have David Palmer, otherwise known as the Leo King, here to talk about horoscopes and tell us about our loved ones and our potential future loved ones. Mm -hmm. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Oh my gosh, how cool is it that we're both Palmer? I know, yeah, it's the Palmer amazing. gang up in here. So look, I love signs, and I'm doing a little bit of my chart because charts are all based on, you know, the city, the town you were born in, the state, the actual time of your birth, and then of course your birthday. And so I know that I'm a rising Cancer. Cancer, yeah. Uh, uh, a moon in Sagittarius. Yes. Yes, you got the sun and Mercury conjunct. So Tell there's me about so this. much in your chart. First of all, being that Cancer <laughs> rising, it's so interesting with the Virgo because, of course, Virgos are all about everything, little things and all the details of everything, and you've got Mercury on top, so you're just, like, crazy about the details. But you've got that Cancer rising, which brings your emotion into it so powerfully. Yeah. You were born with Venus on the rising, so you attract so much. Venus is the women planet. It's the beauty planet. So you're an attractor. You attract whatever you want. You have the sun in the second house, so you're a manifester. You're going to manifest this whole life, and you're going to collect so many things. It also is a little bougie. Don't tell me no bad. It's a little bougie, I'll be honest, okay? <laughs> like, it's a little bit bougie, but it's really good for manifesting. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is really all good stuff. Okay, so let's talk about some famous celebrity couples. Let's talk about how their relationships. Who you got for me first? Well, we got Kim and Kanye. They just got together, right? Okay, so what, is the, what do their signs tell us about them? Well, Kim's a Libra. Oh, and lover. Kanye's a Gemini, so of course the air signs go together great. Now, Kim is a Libra, and Saturn went through Libra the last couple years, and it's finally left. So Libras are finally figuring out what they want. Okay. If you know with her, she really has not known what she wants. So Drake's gonna know <laughs> what he wants soon. It's gonna <laughs> soon, be me. Yeah, me. correct. And <laughs> the whole thing about Geminis is they're crazy. They're all uh, over the place. They're funny, and you know they can have multiple masks. Yeah. She needs this because she needs to have multiple people, I think, in her life, and it all comes into one beautiful package to him. Right. Okay. So now I want to talk about Jay Z and Beyonce, the power couple of the last decade. What can that? What can the stars tell us about them? Well, they're, I know she's a Sag, but yeah, she's a Virgo. Right, they're a very interesting match. It's actually very different energies, right? And yes. typical astrology doesn't go together well because right. Sagittarius, very open, powerful, all over the place, yes. too. And then, you know, the Virgo, it can be very specific. <laughs> Let's yes. make it real, real, real. And sometimes, you know, and I think with Jay-Z, it's almost like so big, sometimes it doesn't become fully real, and she wants to make it real. Yeah, because we're Earth signs. We like everything to be grounded. Right, so he's real big energy. And, you know, she is, too, but when you go underneath, She's much more sensitive, much more intense emotionally, and he's much more boom, 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 all over the place. Saturn comes into Sagittarius at the end of this year, and this is where the tests will be for them in the relationship. Like any good marriage will be tests. My they're about to come good. into it, and it's probably when they're going to have to switch gears in their own lives too, you know? Because oh. I think they'll be separating a little bit from their power couple of work and kind of going in their own directions a little bit. I know whatever it is, they'll work it out. Yeah. Now, the next couple I want to talk about is Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. You know... Now, they... What is, I mean, they feel... I feel like they have been just gliding, gliding, gliding. What can the stars tell us about them? Perfection, really. It's interesting. Will Smith was born with the sun and Uranus conjunct. This makes him a very uh, wild freedom personality. Mm. Her Venus sits right on top of that. So they have this really powerful connection, and she allows him the freedom he needs. He needs freedom. I love that she allows him and that. she allows him to have the freedom. Confidence of a Virgo woman. <laughs> well, I think it goes deeper than just their sun signs with this situation. Yeah. You have to look at all the planets in astrology to really see the truth. And with them, 
it's a very planetary configuration, more than just the sun signs. Exactly, yes. And what I love about Libras, if we're just talking on the surface of the sun signs, Libra men tend to be very, very sweet. So I can just imagine how sweet Will is. They're very loving and very, I mean, they, they, they do everything they can to please the people they're with. So I know that that must be a fun time. They put, uh, put another person first. They do, they, they do. do. I love that about Libras. Now, you know me, I have to ask about this. If the things were different, you know I'm a, I'm, this man is married, but if things were different in this life, would Michael Ely and I be a match? <laughs> Well, he's a, he's a Leo, right? So he's got oh, really big, he's a Leo. shining light. But you know those Leos. I'm a Leo. Yeah, uh, it could uh, be too yeah. much for a Virgo. Sometimes. It could be because it could be all about them. And now in your chart, if we look deep, you know, you're a manifester. You've got all this energy, and you're really open. And I think you need somebody who's more on your team. You've got Venus in the first house, which means they got to be all about you. <laughs> and unfortunately with him, it's going to be all about him. Oh, baby. <laughs> Okay, now, what do you think? Knowing my chart, you know, we know about my rising being a Cancer, my sun being a Virgo, my moon being Sagittarius, my Venus is a Cancer, too, I think. Yeah, it? right on the rising. Okay, so who would be a good match for me? Well, I thought a lot about this, especially because okay. you've got a moon in Sagittarius, which makes you really open and yeah. powerful and all over the place and humorous and da-da-da-da-da. It's like it brings the Virgo energy everywhere. <laughs> yes, yes. But it's interesting that Venus and Cancer that you have, and planet Jupiter's there right now. So actually, there's a really good luck for you in relationships right now. It's almost like you've probably either met this person or something's going on right now powerfully with you in there. But what's interesting is that <laughs> Cancer needs the emotion and the comfort of a, of a partnership. And I think for you, I picked a Taurus or a Cancer because a Cancer is going to fall over that Venus, uh -huh. and a Taurus is going to have their worth and be a little bougie like you, and it will work out. You can't go with a cheap person or somebody who doesn't know their worth. Guys who don't have self worth is your biggest turnoff. That is. If you're not a confident man, get to stepping. I, I can't deal. I can't deal. I, know. I can't deal because it makes the load too much for me to carry, and I already got too much stuff to do, honey. I know. Okay, so, you know, okay, a Taurus or a Cancer type of thing. Is there any celebrity you think that would fit into that idea that would be good for me? As far as Cancers go, uh, <laughs> Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart! And you know I love me some Kevin Hart. I love a funny man. Hey, you, Kevin. Well, they're so emotional. Yeah. And I think you need emotional energy. A I do. Dead, a dead brick in your room would be the worst thing on the planet. It really would be, because I don't, I don't, you know, it's like it, it can turn into me pulling water from a rock. Yeah. And I hate that. If you can't match the energy, then we don't have any connection. No. Thank you so much, David. Oh, this so was great a to blast. meet you. Pleasure. Oh, this I'll was a blast. You. Please, we got to hit a break. But coming up, me and my dad are going to go head to head. A big time challenge, just Kiki style. Thank you.